kind of video um, because I've been um, seeing online many of uh, these kind of hateful comments regarding gay people, especially hateful and intentionally uh, hurtful comments that were made um, by Christians towards gay people. And I'm here to set the record straight, if you will. You see, being gay and Christians is just fine. Being homophobic and Christian doesn't go well together. In fact, being racist and Christian doesn't go well together. Jesus hung out with many people from many different backgrounds. Being Christian and against immigration is, of course, doesn't go together. Jesus fled persecution and was an immigrant himself in Egypt. Being an anti-Semite and hating Jews is also itself, and being Christian is also itself, a problem. Because Jesus was a Jew. He died a Jew. And that's what we often forget. When we read the Bible, and we read it literally, we miss the point. The Bible is not like reading a Harry Potter book. When people take the Bible literally, they miss what it's meant to say and to be. We need to look at the context, the culture, the social environment, the religious uh, aspect of it all. And when we read the Bible, we need to have all of that in context. We need to take the Bible seriously, but not literally. Using the Bible to fit your hateful mistake, uh, your hateful narrative is a mistake. I am an openly gay minister, not in spite of what the Bible says, but in light of it. And people will say, well, being gay is a sin. Well, no, no. Sin or sins are act of, that separate us from God, from others, and from ourselves. So for example, bullying is a sin. Posting hateful comments towards gay people is a sin. Putting yourself in the place of God to judge somebody else is a sin. So being gay, being LGBTQ is not a sin. And as you see, as I'm seeing this more and more and I'm reading comments and I'm listening to stories, I hear, I hear about the conversion therapy that has hurt so many people because some people took the Bible literally and not seriously. Conversion therapy has damaged the spiritual life of so many people out of the ignorance of just a few. If you are LGBT, LGBTQ and you are watching this right now, know that you are loved. Know that you are okay. That God loves you the way you are. And there is nothing you can do or be for God to love you more. You may have many problems, but being LGBTQ is not one of them. You are not alone and I totally understand the struggle you may face. Know that you are supported, that you can find help online, and that being gay and being Christians is not something that doesn't go together. It actually goes very well together. I invite you to keep on praying for those who persecute you, to stand up for the hurt that you have been, um, that have been inflicted on you and express your boundaries and let go of the hate that other people are trying to put on you. Until next time, you take care. Be who you are. Don't be afraid of what people might say. Bye.